As I've developed my personal style and built out my closet, I've tried really hard to pay attention to construction, buying the highest quality I can afford, different cuts and colors, and I do all of that with the intention of having things in my wardrobe for as long as possible. So in today's video, I thought it'd be fun if I shared six things that I've had in my closet for six or more years. These are things that I continue to wear and love, and the intention and thought behind them to begin with has paid off. So even even though my style is changing and evolving, I still wear them. So let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is my navy blazer. So this is one of the oldest items in my closet. And at the time, it was the most expensive thing I had ever bought for myself. And I've loved it ever since. So I restarted my wardrobe back when I was living in New York. I minimized it to a capsule, figured out my color palette, and I decided that what was missing was a navy blazer. So I went on the hunt for the perfect one and ended up finding this one. The size was perfect, the cut was perfect, the color was perfect, the detailing is perfect. Saved my pennies and bought it. And it has been a cornerstone to my closet ever since. I continue to wear it, I continue to love it, and it goes with so many things. And when I look at this piece, I can now reflect on so many things that it's taught me about my style and how I continue to use those. So the first is the color. This beautiful navy or this rich blue is a color that's been a part of my color palette almost since the beginning, and it's one that I continue to love. I love how I feel in it. I love how it works for so many different occasions and events and seasons, and it's just something that I will have forever. And then I also love the gold hardware because I've thought about changing the buttons, and I might still, TBD, because sometimes I like to have a little variety, but I just love this gold hardware because I love gold. And I love having gold jewelry and gold accents. And no Knowing that has been a piece of my wardrobe since I restarted everything is just something that makes so much sense to me, and I'm reminded every time I look at it. The next thing I want to talk about is my pair of tall brown boots. I bought these definitely over six years ago, back when I was living in New York. I got them on eBay, brand new, in the box, for $100. This is back when you could get really good deals on eBay. It's harder now because it's become more popular and a lot more people know that you can do that, so it's become more more difficult, but you can still find deals, so it's definitely worth checking. And I remember distinctly, I wanted a pair of tall boots, and I wanted either black or brown, whichever I could find first, because both go with my wardrobe. And I decided that this brand was what I really wanted to focus on, because I went shopping at, to a store, I think I went to Bloomingdale's or Saks, I tried on a pair of Ferragamo boots, which the, these are, and they were perfect. The ankle was perfect, the calf measurement was perfect, they were the perfect height, they were super comfortable and the construction was really beautiful. So I started educating myself on the quality that behind shoes and what makes them different from another pair. And I ended up deciding that I was gonna try to find these on eBay or Etsy or something like that. So I set up alerts for everything and I ended up finding these for the price that I paid, which is amazing still. I'm still amazed that I was able to do that. And I love them so much to this day because they're perfect. They're a great color, they're, they fit me ideally. They go with everything. I wear them with skirts, pants, jeans, dresses, and I will continue to love them, I'm sure, for many years because as I've had them, they've just gotten better. And so it's really driven home the importance of quality footwear for me because I kind of didn't pay attention to that before. And I would buy whatever, whatever was cute, whatever was cheap, <laughs> and I would wear through them fast. I remember back when I first moved to the city, I had so many pairs of H&M shoes and I would wear through them so much and my feet would hurt so bad. And so when I started paying attention to what makes a great shoe, I didn't look back and it's still something I focus on. So definitely reflect on things that you've loved for many years and I think you can learn valuable things. And like I'll share with some other things, that's been so true for me. The next thing I wanna talk about is this vintage cashmere sweater. So when I first restarted my closet, I was doing a bunch of research on quality and construction and wardrobe basics and what people recommended and what they'd had for a long time and really building out my wardrobe with the long haul in mind. And so I kept seeing cashmere sweaters come up and a crew neck cashmere sweater being a very cornerstone for so many closets. So I remember I checked in store and they were all really expensive on some 
surprisingly, they still are. And so I decided to check eBay and Etsy and I ended up finding this one. I think I paid maybe $20 for it. It was in such great condition and it's still something I enjoy. So it also set me down the path of really loving cashmere sweaters. And I was able to experiment with it and try it for a price that didn't break the bank. So I didn't blow my whole wardrobe budget. The color is great, the cut is great, the fit is great, and I continue to be able to style it a bunch of different ways. So I know I've talked about this before, but as you're building out your wardrobe, if there's something that you think you wanna add, but it seems prohibitive, always check the vintage shops, thrift stores, secondhand, online, eBay, Etsy, because you can find some really gorgeous things for very, very low prices, kind of the price that you'd pay at a most fast fashion retailers, but get something that's really beautiful and you can enjoy for many years. So I definitely recommend that. The next thing I want to talk about is some gold stacking rings that I bought on eBay, which is kind of risky in retrospect to buy fine jewelry on eBay, but I vetted the seller, I asked a bunch of questions, and I'm so happy that I bought them because I still wear them. So I remember at the time I was seeing so many cool pictures on Pinterest of girls with really minimal outfits and then a lot of great gold jewelry, and now I'm thinking back on it, I'm realizing that that was such a key part of my style that was establishing it itself and I was allowing myself to be drawn to what continues to be something I love. So this idea of stacked or layered gold jewelry, but a basic minimal outfit is something that I will wear forever I'm sure. And having a little bit of versatility within that and changing up the cuts and the silhouettes of things and ultimately going for something slightly unique or personal has been something that I've really focused on ever since. So I love that these are a little bit different, they're stacked and twisted and they've got kind of different textures going on and I continue to love how they look layered with other things. So definitely one of my recommendations when it comes to jewelry and building out your jewelry collection is to really focus on your base instincts. So if you like something, you like it. Don't try to talk yourself into things. Don't try to talk yourself out of things and instead focus on what you're naturally drawn to and those things tend to come back to you over and over and over again and you tend to love them for many years. And that is certainly true of these pieces and then so many of the other jewelry pieces that I've added since then. The next thing I want to talk about is this basic black belt that I'm wearing today. So when I first restarted my closet, as is the theme for pretty much everything on this list, I looked at so many wardrobe lists and closet pieces and essentials, things that seemed really versatile and also things that I saw on stylish people out and about. I still love doing that. I'll look at someone that's got a great outfit and pay attention to kind of what they're wearing and how they've put it together. So I saw belts come up again and again, and I decided that a basic black and a basic brown would suit my style and be really versatile. So I have both and I continue to wear both. Now I want to talk about the black because it's the first one that I bought and I learned a lot from it that informed future purchases and I've been happy with everything that I've learned. So the first is that I wanted something super minimal. I didn't want studs or stitching and I wanted that because as a cornerstone to my closet and something that I could mix and match, I wanted it to almost fade into the background and having something with minimal detailing does that. And then the second is that I wanted something with a gold buckle because I love gold. I also wear silver, but specifically for this belt, I wanted something gold and I wanted it shiny. And that is still something that I love, shiny gold or shiny silver. I prefer it in my jewelry, my accessories, my detailing, and it's something that I come back to over and over again. And last but not least is this pair of pants in black and navy. I again bought these when I restarted my wardrobe. I got them on eBay, as is the theme for most of these things. And I love them because this style of pant kept popping up. They seemed really versatile. They looked like they went with ankle boots and ballet flats, still two things that I love and I wear and I wanted something in black and blue because I had both of those colors in my closet and then also I wanted something in a lightweight wool. I think it's a really versatile material. It's not too hot, not too cold. You can layer it, wear it with different things and it's actually really hard to find this very thin wool. I've taken really good care of them. I've followed everything that I've learned the last couple years to really make sure that they lasted and I've been so happy with them. So again, these have informed other purchases I learned through these that I love pants and I love a structured pant 
and wearing them in different ways is something that I will never get tired of. So it was a beautiful springboard for all of the pants that I've added since, and I continue to wear and love them. So I hope that this video was inspirational or informative. It gave you some things to think about, and I would love to know if there's anything in your closet that you've had for a long time and what it's taught you about your style and if you still wear it or if you just hold on to it because it's sentimental. Definitely let me know. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.